Another complex issue within this conflict and all conflicts in general is the spread of misleading narratives and fakes. Earlier in our studio, we spoke to Mark Pfeiffel, the communications expert who is now leading a team of media and communication strategists based in Washington, D.C., and who was previously White House Deputy National Security Advisor for Strategic Communications and Global Outreach. We asked Mr. Pfeiffel, among others, should we as international community promote peace regulation of the conflict in Gaza Strip. First of all, as a communications expert, do you think um, that some of the narratives in this ongoing conflict is missing? So I think that that's right. I think that the, the challenge with the narratives are that it, in a time of war, it's so difficult to find out what's the truth and what is, is, the, is information that's put out there to mislead or to be disinformation. So, and it's very hard to get that type of thing in real time. So for example, uh, there, there was no uh, uh, for, foreshadowing of, of uh, Hamas coming in uh, to Israel and, and the death and destruction that happened to innocent people. And that's a very compelling and a very difficult story. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, the, re the retaliation from Israel and that's telling a story as well. And all of these things are happening with the media trying to pay attention, trying to know what's going on. But in the cloud of war, it's very difficult to know. But what we don't need uh, in, in the world right now is another big challenge like this. It's mm -hmm. very disconcerting. It's very, it's tragic and horrible that the Middle East is still, after all these years, having such a difficult time finding peace. We thought in some ways with the Abraham uh, Accords that were, that were discussed and that were agreed upon, that maybe that could bring some semblance of peace to the region, mm -hmm. but it looks like that is not the case, unfortunately. Yes, and on this part, is there any possibility of ceasefire, and should we as international community push on this agenda? So instead? I think that's the difficult thing, is the tensions are so high right now, and the, the Israelis are looking for ways that they can stop this from ever happening again, and that if a ceasefire happens right now, they, they have great loss for their civilians, and they're trying to find a way that they can, they can find some level of accommodation which is, and, and that they can find some level of how do we bring about an end to this in a peaceful way. I think it's going to be very difficult.